Now, the Delta State Police Commissioner Olufemi Abaniwanda says the protests in the state have been peaceful so far. The CP called on the protesters to abide by the rules and laws of the land. Now, Baniwanda noted that the protesters have been allocated designated meeting points, but some are not adhering to these guidelines. He warns that the lack of coordination among the protesters could lead to a breakdown of law and order in the state. The Nigerian Police Force is one of the most sensitive organizations you can find in Nigeria. I would also like to bring attention to a number of states, Lagos and the SCT, and probably one other state. We have gotten court orders restricting the movement of protesters to, de to designated areas. Have the protesters abide by this? The always answer is no. Now again, if you look at what we have in Nassau, which we are trying to ensure that it does not escalate beyond this, in an attempt to go about their lawful protest and peaceful, so-called peaceful protest, citizens, innocent citizens, have been assaulted and been forced to join the protest. Protest is supposed to be a voluntary thing. When it becomes that people are being coerced, are being threatened to join, then it is no longer peaceful. And the Nigerian police force has a duty and responsibility to ensure that this protest remains peaceful. For as long as it is peaceful, we will protect the protesters. But at the point where you decide to become violent, to loot, to force other citizens who are not members of your organization are unwilling to join, I think it is imperative that the Nigerian police and other law enforcement agents ensure that there is no breakdown of law and order. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.